What is up, FIFA Governors? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. If you're new on this corner, you know how it goes. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and do let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Boys, it is the release of the uh, Ligue 1 uh, team of the season, and we get ourselves a Ludovic Ajorc. A Ludovic Ajorc who is born in Saint Denis Réunion in French. He is from Malagasy origins, I I've learned, and that's pretty cool. He has uh, specifically he has specifically played in a, in a few clubs, notably uh, clubs in the Ligue 1. So uh, Angers, he's played for Clermont, and then in 2018 moved to Strasbourg, where he has done 122 appearances since then, has been having fantastic seasons with them, especially his 2021 season, which we got a bunch of cards, uh, Team of the Week uh, upgrade cards from this guy. Moving on to what's, what is important here, this guy is 6'6". That is impeccable. That is crazy height. We love that. For a striker, somebody who's going to be a threat in the air, a threat in the box, who's going to be able to dominate the box there. This is fantastic. The next thing is a little sus. And for multiple reasons, the work rates is medium, medium. And that for a striker, you know, I don't need to tell you. You know how dangerous and how not great that is, right? A striker needs to have high, medium, or high, low. High, low is even better. But he has medium, medium. So that that's already a notch on his belt there. Uh, the preferred foot is left footed, which is good. That gives you the ability to play him as a right striker in a two striker formation. And then he can bury those from the left foot. He is three star scale, three star weak foot. Another a notch on his belt there. Another... Um, a little bit of an issue, right? Three star, three star at this current stage of the game. That is a bit of an issue. Moving on to the pace. The pace plate is also an issue, boys. 87 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. We really want everything to be above 90. At this current stage of the game, everything really needs to be above 90 to ensure that once the guy, once the player is on the ball, he has peak acceleration, peak sprint speed. So you'll definitely need to boost this if you're going to use a Jacques. If you love that card, if you sorry, if you love that player, you want to use this card, you're going to have to boost this pace. Moving on to the shooting, this is what this card can do. This card can turn and shoot. 98 attack positioning, 96 finishing, 93 shot power. He is going to be an absolute terror in front of the goal. The three-star weak foot, you might still feel, but he has all it takes to score those goals. He is a 90, he has 90 volley and a 91 penalty, so he can definitely be your penalty taker there. Moving on to the passing, this card can somewhat pass, right? The medium medium could potentially give you the idea to play him as a cam. And then you, you wouldn't be too bad. You wouldn't be too wrong, right? He has 90 vision. He has a 90 short pass, 80 long pass. And that is decent, right? If you want to use this card, I would definitely... I, I could see this as a French wake horse, right? A French version of wake horse who has way, way uh, less better stats, but is able to play as a cam. Moving on to the dribbling, there is something to note here is that this guy is high and average body type, right? The, the dribbling split at the top is 91 agility, 85 balance, and already that tells you the story of the fact that he is going to be clunky, right? He's 6'8", he, he's six eight, he's gonna move like a truck, he's gonna move, not like a full truck, because his stats are pretty, pretty much boosted here, but he is not going to move insanely well. The 95 reaction is good, the 91 ball control is good, the 91 dribbling is also good, and the 92 composure is fantastic, but still he's high in average moving on to defending non-existent but he has 99 hitting accuracy combined with the physicality there that is sensational he can jump he's a threat and the box the seven of 90 he'll play the entire game strength of 99 and then aggression of 92 i like this card but i like this card but there's there's red flags the power header is the only player trait that he will get boys let's check very quickly because i forgot to do that earlier what you need to complete this card you'll need to win eight matches on minimum professional with 11 league players and that's in squad battles or in your rival games you also need to score using league on players in five separate uh, squad battles, professional or rival. You will have to uh, assist four goals with French players, and that has to be world class. So keep that in mind. This here would have to be world class if it's in squad battles or rivals if you want to do that there. Finally, you'll need to score three headers and squad battles, semi-professional, that is A-OK. -okay. Boys, this card, I am not going to turn around the bushes. I don't think it's the crazy, craziest card we've gotten from ESports. The, he has a few factors that 
play uh, in his favor. The fact that he's so high, the fact that he's so strong, 99 strength, 99 heading accuracy, the jumping of 90, the fact that he can somewhat pass, right? He has 90 short pass, 80 long pass, and the fact that he can absolutely shoot. So he has that going for him. The medium medium is the issue. The fact that he's three star scale, three star weak foot at this current stage of the game is an issue. But if you love this card, if you want to build some sort of a French, uh, you know, French side or Ligue 1 side, this guy might be somebody who, uh, you know, the Ejorque or the Strasbourg's lover are going to go ahead and complete. But if you don't have time to complete, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not a big loss. This guy is not a big loss. He has his height, he has his strength, but that's pretty much it. Boys, this was your FIFA Commoner giving you a quick review on Ludovic Ajorque. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you very soon for another player review. Peace out!